Good day. Welcome to today's basic science class. Today we are going to be discussing energy. My name remains Jima Sikirula Adio. Introduction. Energy is the ability to do work. All living things cannot survive without energy because energy must be involved in performing all characteristic of living things, which include movement, feeding, excretion, growth, reproduction, respiration, and sensitivity. Once there is no energy to carry out all these activities, then the living things is said to be dead. Work is said to be done when there is transfer of energy from one form to another. That is, for example, when you eat a ball, energy is transferred from you to the ball and set the ball in motion. I hope you understand. Let's proceed. Sources of energy. Solar energy, that is the energy from the sun, provide major source of energy. Plants depend on energy from the sun to produce their nutrients and produce all forms of plant resources, which animals depend on, including human beings. Below are other sources of energy. One, we have food, and all animals derive their, their energy from digested food they eat, which are then used for their various daily activities. Number two, we have natural gas. This is an hydrocarbon gas mixture, which are mostly methane. And it is used in power generating plants and for heating building, especially in temperate, temperate region. Three, we have petroleum, which is also known as crude oil. And its products include kerosene, petrol, gasoline, eating, eating oil, which is used in fuel furnace. We also have another source of energy, which is wind. That is, the energy derived from wind are used, and it is used in electricity generation using wind turbine. And it can also be used in grinding grains and pumping water. We also have coal as another source of energy, which are used in electricity generation also and in steel production. We also have hydropower as another source of energy. This is energy derived from falling or running water. It is used for electricity generation. And I believe you have heard of Kanji Dam, where we generate most of electricity in this country, that we are using in this country. Let's proceed to forms of energy. We have various forms of energy, which include chemical energy, Mechanical energy, thermal energy, that is heat energy. Nuclear energy, which can be uh, uh, nuclear fission or fusion. So we can get energy from that too. We also have sand energy, we have electrical energy, we have light energy. Let's proceed. We, have, we also have something called energy transformation. And this is the process of changing energy from one form to another. Note that energy does not disappear. It merely changes from one form to another. Examples of energy transformation include 1. Transformation of chemical energy into mechanical energy by car engines. 2. Electric bulb also converts electrical energy to light energy as we use in our various homes. Also, Mechanical energy to electrical energy by generator. I hope you understand. Transfer of en mechanical energy to electrical energy as our generator in our various homes. We also have steam engine, which converts thermal energy into mechanical energy. Also, another example of energy transformation is Electric motor, which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. Also, petrol or diesel engine also convert chemical energy 
to mechanical energy why we have we also have stove which converts chemical energy into thermal energy i believe you understand that too because your your stove use chemical compound which is kerosene called kerosene and transfer it to thermal energy which is heat that you use in cooking your food at home let's proceed to uses of energy energy gotten from food is used in carrying out our daily activities also we have energy is used at our various houses to power electronics e.g television radio and computer etc energy gotten from water that is hydroelectric energy are also used in driving mechanical means and electricity generation that for example we have kanji dam in nigeria which most of uh electricity that is that we are using is generated from that particular dam also we also have energy is also used in fueling cars planes commercial trucks etc energy is also used in eating home especially in those uh region where we have a lot of uh, uh cold uh, region to be precise temperate region where they might have even minus four degrees centigrade imagine so those are the uses of energy summary of our, all our discussion since we have energy which is the ability to do work and it is of various forms as we, as we mentioned before we have chemical electrical mechanical thermal nuclear which can be fusion or fission and light energy we also have energy transformation which can be divine as change of energy form from one form to another to enable us to use it for various purposes we also use energy at home to do a lot of things like watching television watching clothes washing clothes cooking and charging laptops charging our phones etc so let's stop here today uh, our assignment for today is that divine energy transformation and give five example and state where the uh, the energy is converted from so that i will know maybe you understand the topic very well see you next class